Hi guys, Ruan here from Crown of Elegance. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in. So today's tutorial is showing you how to do a double loop bow using the Zutter Bow It All version 3. And for today's tutorial, I am using a one-sided satin ribbon that's fuchsia. And of course, to start, this bow is going to be one and a half inches in size. So my first peg is going to be in hole four and my second peg is going to be in the five and a half inch hole. So let's get right into it. So I'm adjusting my first peg and screwing it into the hole and I'm just going to use the wrench that came with the board to just tighten it a bit. And I'm going to repeat this for the second peg. This gives me a width of one and a half inches. The good thing about when you tighten these, pull, these pulls with the wrench is that they're not going to go anywhere. So that's a closer view of what it should look like. And using the satin ribbon, because it's one-sided, I have to wrap it in such a way that the shiny side is towards me. And the matte side is on the inside of the bow. So I'm just wrapping it around the pole here two times, and that two times would form the both loops. So that's the first wrap. And the second wrap. Now, as we started with the ribbon in our left hand, we are going to finish with the ribbon in our right hand. So it should look like this. So as you can see, there are two loops, loop one and loop two. So using the ribbon in my left hand, I'm just going to cross it with the ribbon in my right hand as you will see next. This starts the locking technique. So that's what I'm showing you right now. I'm then going to take the ribbon in my left hand, bring it over the two loops to the front, and then wrap it through the pegs and carry it back to the back. I'm going to try to do this as slow as possible so that you can see. And of course, remember to even out this, the ribbon even as it comes to the center. This gives it a, a clean finish and a clean look. So when I carry the ribbon back to the back, I'm just placing the two together. Then switch hands as shown. So now that the ribbon that was in my left hand is now in my right hand, I'm going to take that and cross it over the ribbon that is in my left hand and pass it through the hole to create the knot. When I pull out that ribbon, I'm just going to place them on each other to even them out. Then switch hands again and pull to tighten. This will create the knot to create the bow. And I'm just evening it out. So I rock it a little left and right to make sure that it goes in the center of where I want it to fit. And that's your ribbon. So I'm just cutting off the tails right now using my dandy little pink scissors and then slide it off the both pegs. And of course, when you form your bow, your tails are going to end up to the top and the bow is going to end up to the bottom. So then to complete the bow, just turn it around so that the bottom of the bow is at the top and the tails are at the bottom. Like so. And now I'm just going to neaten out the loops. 
and you could fluff the loops to make them round or you could leave them like that to make them flat and I'm just separating the, the two on the other side and this is your double loop ribbon a simple one using the quarter inch satin ribbon so this is what it's going to look like and now your ribbon is ready for your project And that's all for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.